Assalamu alaikum this is me Amjad Maranja we are going to discuss an other topic of biology the excretion in earthworm very important topic we learn a lot of things about the earthworm what are the excretory products in earthworm what are the excretory structures in earthworm and what are the excretory mechanisms in earthworm these all topics will be covered in this video lecture so first of all we are going to discuss about the excretion in earthworm excretion in earthworm first of all we'll focus what is an earthworm as the name suggest this is a land animal it lives on land it belongs to phylum annelida the word annelida means rings actually the bodies of annelids are divided into many segments so they are called as segmented worms so earthworm is a segmented worm it lives on land it is a terrestrial animal earthworm is said to be the farmer friend why actually earthworm eats all types of living and dead organic matter during this it burrows down it makes the holes in the soil due to which aeration of soil increases due to which the fertility of the soil increases and second reason when it burrows down it decomposes the organic matter it converts the dead organic matter or living or organic matter into the waste which become the fertilizer for the soil so because of two reasons one it it increase the aeration of the soil and the second reason is it increases it it adds the waste the organic waste into the soil because of which the fertility of the soil increases so it is rightly said as the farmer friend next what are the excretory products in the earthworm what are the excretory products in earthworm as i said earthworm lives on land so water availability is less due to less water availability the nitrogenous waste in the earthworm is urea in the animals in which the water availability is less than the maximum the ammonia is converted into urea and urea needs less amount of water to be removed out, out of the body so with the urea some other solutes water extra water is removed uh, as excretory products from the body of earthworm next the excretory structures what are the excretory structures or excretory system in the earthworm we learned in the previous lecture that in plain area the protonephridia are present which are the tubular excretory system in earthworm the the tubular excretory system is present as well but that tubular system is something advanced that advanced tubular excretory system is called as metanephridia the word meta means after the word meta means ahead the word meta means advance these are actually advanced excretory tubules the word nephridia means or nephro means ex excretory pertaining to excretion so meta nephridia are the main excretory structures in the earthworm we need to know what are these meta nephridia and why they are called as meta nephridia what is evolved in them what is advanced in them what is better than them as compared to the proto nephridia uh, as we talked earlier that earthworm is is a segmented worm so i'll draw two segments of the earthworm this is say this is the anterior segment towards the mouth this one is the posterior segment towards the uh, towards the cloaca so what are the metanephridia we will draw the structures of the metanephridia actually metanephridia has many parts like nephrostome an internal opening inside the body surrounded with the cilia uh, 
collecting tubule which is a long tubule which is coiled and convoluted moreover that collecting tubule is surrounded with blood capillaries and then a bladder which is a temporary storage for the urine before it removes out of the body and finally an exterior opening which is called as nephridiopore so the main structures are nephrostome the collecting tubule the blood capillary surrounding that the bladder and the nephridiopore we'll draw each structure with detail uh, say in the anterior segment why in anterior segment we are uh, we are starting to draw the metanephridium this is the mouth the internal opening which is called as which is called as nephrostome the word nephro means excretory and stome means the opening this is an internal opening this is called as nephrostome from nephrostome to next there is a convoluted tubule this convoluted tubule is called as collecting tubule why because it collects the excretory waste from nephrostome so this is called as ex excretory tubule or collecting tubule this collecting tubule ends into a dilated some open portion this dilated or open portion is called as bladder bladder is the temporary storage for the urine and this is the exterior opening the nephridiopore from nephridiopore the excretory products are removed out of the body so here with the ex uh, with the collecting tubule the blood capillaries are present for the reabsorption of salts for the reabsorption of salts as well as the useful uh, useful water or salts very important thing which i i want to mention over here this is not only the excretory system of earthworm this is also osmoregulatory system of the earthworm because this system does two kinds of functions first is excretion the removal of nitrogenous waste from the body which is toxic and the second function is to osmoregulate means to regulate or maintain the water amount the water quantity as well as the salts quantity into the body so it it also performs the function of osmoregulation so this is not only the excretion this is also the osmoregulation it regulates it maintains the osmotic state of the body as well so these are the structures this nephrostome is immersed is dipped in a silomic fluid this is the silom the cavity the silom of the uh, of the earthworm here a fluid is present which is called as silomic fluid this nephrostome is immersed in this silomic fluid and uh, absorbs the excretory waste the urea etc from this silomic fluid and put into the collecting tubule these are the excretory structures of the earthworm now we need to know the excretory mechanism what is the excretory what is the excretory mechanism in earthworm in earthworm the as i as i told that nephrostome is immersed in the silomic fluid so from silomic fluid the excretory waste is absorbed with the help of nephrostome when the cilia present at the mouth of nephrostome beats the excretory waste from silomic fluid enters into the nephrostome from nephrostome it goes into the collecting tubule which is highly convoluted tubule and have and have uh, blood capillaries surrounding it blood capillaries reabsorb the water as well as the useful salts from collecting tubule this is why i called this excretory system as as well as osmoregulatory system as well right so next from collecting tubule the excretory waste goes into the bladder in bladder it stores for some time this is a temporary storage and from bladder when nephridiopore opens the excretory waste is removed out of the body this is the excretory mechanism in earthworm this is the excretory mechanism in the earthworm we talked about each and every detail in the earthworm one thing more which i want to elaborate over here see in evolutionary process 
from plane area to earthworm this is our next stage of evolution actually in evolution we can we can see each system developing step by step so in plane area proto nephridia are present in uh, earthworm the meta nephridia are present so very important thing to mention over here what is the comparison between proto nephridia and meta nephridia which is a short question usually asked in exams differentiate between proto nephridia and meta nephridia proto nephridia as the words as the terms suggest the difference between them we will see different differences proto means first and nephridia excited tubules meta advanced nephridia excited tubules so these are less advanced these are more advanced this is the first difference second difference in proto nephridia the blind ducts are present there isn't any internal opening so we will say no internal opening no internal opening but in meta nephridia internal opening present what is the third difference third difference is blood capillaries sorry no blood capillaries present for reabsorption no blood capillaries as the plain area is as the proto nephridia are present in plain area plain area is a water animal so water conservation is a big deal for the animals which are having proto nephridia sorry this is nephridia so in meta nephridia blood capillaries are present for the reabsorption of water and salts because the osmoregulation is also the function of meta nephridia and uh, next difference no bladder is present for temporary storage of for for temporary storage of uh, urine but in them bladder is present yes bladder is present uh, the proto nephridia are present in plain area the meta nephridia are present in earthworm so these are the differences between proto nephridia and meta nephridia in this topic excretion in earthworm we talked about what is an earthworm what are the excretory products in it what are the excretory structures in it what is the excretory mechanism and finally we talked about the difference between proto nephridia and meta nephridia each and everything detailed this is sufficient uh, content for for the preparation of all kinds of exams entry tests as well as the board exams stay connected to us thank you very much